know you talked earlier in the week just about the maybe the ability to be able to practice with the speed this week. How much did that help you? How good was that to be able to do that? Well, Jimmy, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell how much it helped you until the game. That's the most important thing. Um, but, you know, I think the guys responded well. I thought that uh, as the week went on, I think we continued to to improve. And, um, you know, you're late in the season, and I do think the rest helped. You know, I think that uh, some of the rest that we were able to get helped. And, you know, we'll see uh, hopefully if some of that practice work can pay off. From a momentum build-up standpoint, you know, getting able to go a little bit better like that, how does that help that? Well, I think it's... You know, that, that's all part of the preparation. That's part of the preparation that's uh, physical and then the mental preparation that uh, has to take place between now and um, Saturday night. Mike, how much is the winning you guys have done the last few years and what you've been able to build in that locker room? How much does that matter translate to a game? Like well, I don't think it matters, Joe. I think it matters, you know, the wins, the losses. I think it's just, you know, all really just comes down to how we play this week and whatever we did last week or three weeks ago. You know, whatever we did against Jacksonville, uh, you know, you have to, you know, in this league, it's all about, you know, that, that game and how that unfolds and, and, and what transpires and how you take care of the football and how you can make the corrections. I think, you know, if we can do some things a little bit better, we'll give ourselves a chance to, to go win-win. Gibbons has been pretty good, it seems like, against the run. If you have to use him against the pass, how, how's he done defending the pass this year? Well, I mean, I think that there's certain I mean, if you're going to ask me if he can run with Travis Santiena, I think the answer is going to be a resounding no. Like that's, but you know, Gibby's come in and taken advantage of his opportunities, and you know, he's, I think he's gotten better each week. I think him and Monty have done some good things in there, and you know, he, he's in the right spot, and you know, but obviously there's some matchups, you know, that you know, for a lot of guys, they got a lot of skilled players over there, a lot of speed. You know, so I think we'll all have to be involved with affecting the, the, the passing game that they have. How's trailing, Mike? Uh, well, you know, I mean, I think he'll be okay. We held him out today. Anybody else? Devontae you know? Harris. It's a much shorter list than we've had in recent weeks. Probably. Kind of give the team a, a bit of a lift, you think, too, I guess, energy-wise? Well, I hope playing for the, the division and the opportunity to be in the playoffs gives us a lift. Um, just the opportunity, I want to be excited. That's the whole thing that we talked about this week is about being excited about the, the opportunity, embracing the opportunity. Um, so it seems like we've done that so far. Coach, while you were at practice, they gave an update on DeMar, a really positive one. Um, I guess just as a team this week and the guys that have been affected by this personally, what does it mean just to have some news like that, you know, as, as a Yeah, and I was, you know, I think we all, you know, I mean, everybody involved is, uh, is affected by it. And just being able to communicate with the coaches and the and people in Buffalo, um, you know, and I did, I told the team, I think that, you know, he's, he's you know, before practice that the reports are, are really, really positive and that's, that's amazing. And that, you know, people believe in miracles and then certainly that would be, you know, as close to one as we've seen. And so, you know, we, we, we have a lot of compassion for everybody and these guys trying to prepare for a season and, and, and finish the season strong. They've got an excellent football team and, and we have a lot of respect for them as, as players and coaches, but also people. You get uh, Stonehouse on the, on the verge of, you know, maybe setting two, three records this week. How impressive, uh, you know, has he been this year and how high a bar, I guess, as he said for himself, too? And what are the other ones other than the gross? Yeah, he's got the uh, average. Most punts, that'd record. be a great record. <laughs> <laughs> Most 60 plus uh, okay. uh, punts in a season. Uh, Sammy Ball's record, and the huh. net, uh, average rookie net record, I think, too. Okay. Um, yeah, really, at the end of the day, what comes down to the punting is, is net and inside the 20. And great. I mean, so I love Stoney. I think he's done a fantastic job. And, you know, I, I think he needs to punt better. You know, I think he needs to, to not try to hit it 80 yards every time he swings it. Um, but he has had, a, you know, a good rookie season. And I think that we're going to need his best efforts uh, on Saturday night. And, and hopefully if by doing that and, and, and kicking well, he gets those things that you mentioned, that would be fantastic.